All right, we got one more thing to show you. Look at this. Welcome to Stavros Homestead. I'm Zach. Welcome. I'm Jen. <laughs> and today we are going to show you something that we do often, um, but we've never done on camera, and we wanted to show it to you all because it is very easy, much cheaper than going to a vet. Yeah. So it's time for our dogs' rabies shots um, and our cat, too. We have five dogs. And the one cat. Let's see if I can do that Kiki. right. Her name is Kiki. Her name Kiki. is Kiki. <laughs> so we get our rabies vaccines from Revival Health, and it's a very credible place. Um, they even give you certificates. But while I'm saying that, this does not apply to everyone. Um, in Kentucky, you can give your dogs your own or cats your own rabies vaccinations. Um, some states you cannot. So. Yeah. We do. It's much easier than hauling five dogs and a cat to the vet and right. trying to keep everyone calm because that would be an entire day event, if not multiple days. Yeah. So we're going to do it right here at home. And it's just really, really simple. You know, we give our goats their CD and T shots, um, their annual booster, and it's just like that. It's subcutaneous yeah. under the skin and they don't even know what happened. Yeah. And it's just it's cheaper. It's just mm -hmm. cheaper, easier. You can just do it at home when you're in farm life, like she said, you're used to giving shots. Yeah. So you just got to know, is it an under the skin shot or is it a muscle shot? Yeah. Rabies one is a skin shot. So you lift up the skin, shoot under the skin, not in the muscle. And that's what we're going to show you. Yeah. Okay. So we've got quite a few animals to do. So we're going to start with the inside animals and move outward. First up on the list is Kiki. So you just kind of massage the skin, get it a little loose. And you just pick it up. Okay. There you go, good girl. Kiki, don't hate it. And so we just kind of rub it. Um, it doesn't make a spot on them or anything um, for blood, but just kind of do that just to rub it in. Make sure all is good. <laughs> and it's one milliliter for cats and dogs. And so to note, anytime you use syringes, always make sure you put your cap back on, like so, and always use separate needles. So you can use the same syringe if you want to, but you got to replace your needle on every dog. Even though you know where they are, do it anyways. Next up on the list, Ellie Belly. We're just finding animals everywhere. <laughs> oh, there's a baby. Good job, Ellie. Good job, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Next is Daisy. <laughs> She's got an audience. The other dogs are watching. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> no tears from that one. No. A little bitty squirt. A little bitty squirt. No tears. No tears. Good girl. She does have opinions, however. What's wrong, Daisy? <laughs> you have opinions. Oh, yeah. Kiki's outside now. Great parent, he's <laughs> Rusty. He's all excited. Uh, they have two coats. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I mean, I got a chunk of skin right there. Right. Hey, you have to move your hand. Good job. Good job. Good job, Good job Gina. Job. We have another great pair of knees with a much quieter crowd. Yeah. We'll explain that up there. <laughs> Can you hold his collar like that? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you're done. Go, go on. <laughs> Rusty, <sighs> man. He's the worst. I'll tell you what, see, I think this is why I can never be a vet because mm -hmm. like all of our dogs are like the sweet ones and then you get a Rusty. Yeah. And then you're like, hey. <laughs> He's we such got, a nut. We got it done. He, just, he doesn't even know what happened or why he was acting the way no. he was acting. He's just crazy. <laughs> so much anxiety. <laughs> Last but not least, Sweet Dolly. Sweet Dolly. So she's the one with our goats. She's our Great Pyrenees, our second Great Pyrenees. And she's the sweetest girl ever. Keep so this will be no big deal. Keep Dolly girl. Dolly. Dolly. What's daddy doing, huh? Oh. <laughs> oh. Easy. Get it? Okay, Dolly's done. 
had to quit filming because she had us a little nervous. Um, we've only had her for what a year. A year. Um, so we don't know too much about her. She's great. She's so sweet. She's the best dog ever. But, you know, you just, you don't ever truly know. And we don't totally know her personality all the way yet. So she got us a little nervous. But she did great. She did wonderful. She did not it's, get mad. It's honestly, honestly, it's because she's so submissive to us. I mean, she is a livestock guardian dog. She is does her job great. But because she is so submissive, she has a little bit of a different attitude. Like, when we come, she... She hunkers down. She respects us, but I also know she can kill a coyote. Right. So, you know, it's like you got to keep that in the back of your mind. And it's always good to respect animals yeah. and know what they can do. So you, it's just good to be aware. Yeah, she's a working dog, so she's totally different than our domesticated dogs. And sometimes you just don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so last video, we left you hanging. And I kind of feel bad because I almost hope it like you all don't think it's bigger than it actually is. So that's that's my bad. Um, however, we did landscaping. So Jen and I did some landscaping all around our house, which we're going to use for garden beds. So we will have flowers. It will be pretty, but it's going to be a useful garden area. And it just really makes the house pop. One really, really cool factor here. These stones are the same as our house. So we thought that was really neat. Uh, when they were like remodeling this place, they had to like repair some and replace some of the stone on our house. So they had a bunch of boxes left in the garage um, and we used them as pavers. And so this is the rose bush that, that was here beforehand. But yeah, we put down um, our nice um, soil from Winnie the Pooh, which we have talked about before. And then we topped it off with mulch and it makes the house pop. We love it. We think it looks so good, but that's not all we did. I got the rest of the beds filled, so that one, and these two are now officially filled, and we laid mulch all down here. And so we are still gonna be adding more beds to all this open area, but we were tired of having the grass in there, having that plastic down, so we put down weed tarp, actual weed tarp, and then covered this up with mulch, uh, just to give it more eye appeal. I ran out of bags, so that's why you still see some plastic in the walkways. But y'all, doesn't this look so much better? And while we're over here, look at our shallots and calendula and our radishes. My goodness, they're almost there. Look. But they look good. We're inching our way more and more into gardening season. Um, here in our area, 6B in Southeastern Kentucky, we're close, we're about 10, maybe three weeks out um, before we're really in the clear. Mother's Day is usually our day um, that we know that we're safe. Um, we do have, uh, I think about 35 degrees coming this weekend, which is a bummer, um, but thankfully we don't have anything that can't handle the frost outside. And something has popped up in the garden. Look at all of those potatoes. So that's really exciting. Um, if you planted potatoes, don't give up on them if you haven't seen them pop up. Potatoes take a while. They just do, they take a while to come up. Um, so now we'll get them a little, let them get a little bit taller. We'll cultivate beside the walkways and then we're gonna heal them up, which we'll show you how to do that. But basically you don't cover the top of the plant, you just cover the sides. Um, and that's allowing no light to get down to your potatoes and allowing them to grow more potatoes because the more dirt they have, all around the stems, the more large sized potatoes that you'll have. Um, so we'll be doing that more. Um, as you can tell, we kind of started with the heel um, and buried them in there deeper than you normally would. So that's why ours took a little while too. Um, so our heels already started, but we'll have to keep doing it. And then lastly, we so we bought Grower Solution We Tarp over here. It was not wide enough for our beds that we made um, from our tiller. Um, these are four foot long or four foot wide beds. Well, that was only, I think, three foot or two and a half foot, something like that. So we had to put two pieces, and as you can see, that did not work. They split open. So I found this off Amazon, and it completely covers our rows, and I am happy with how it turned out. Um, so these are gonna be, like, this one, I believe, is gonna be our tomato bed. And we're just gonna, we got all kinds of stuff to plant. But I really like how that looks. I like that it's one solid sheet, and it covers the entire row. Uh, but this is gonna be a lifesaver for my back when it comes to weeding time. So there you go. Um, I hope it was worth the wait. I'm sorry uh, to really make that seem like it was a bigger deal than it was. I apologize. Um, however, to us, it is a big deal. 
we were really excited about it. We really think it makes um, our house look really good um, with that landscaping around it. And it's just more space to garden. So there you go, guys. Learning how to give rabies shots to your dogs at home and more garden progress. We love you. Till the next one.